The book is so, so rich, um, but can you sort of summarize the central theme and who it's written for and what you want them to take away from? I found that most entrepreneurship books focus on the startup and most leadership books focus on these august, you know, general-like people leading big organizations. Yeah. And almost no one talks about the, you know, entrepreneurship and business space with, in, with the, the merging of our, of our family lives and our passions and our values, except for a few books that are mainly aimed only towards, towards women. And so I really wanted to create this kind of hybrid book that would tell the story of an, an entrepreneur's journey from getting going to going big to going home, mm -hmm. that would talk about all of the struggles to give ourselves permission to get going with our crazy ideas, to facing chaos, to meeting naysayers, to the challenges of being a leader, and then the struggles of integrating our work lives with our home lives and our passions and our values. And so that, the book that I wrote, was for anyone who has a dream and who is a little bit scared and wants some inspiration as well as some practical tools and some fun stories that they never heard of to get them over that hump and to start their idea or to have people like my daughters who are younger but who are thinking about well, what's my career going to look like? What is the workforce going to look like? And realize they have to constantly reinvent themselves. So again, to give them that roadmap and that skill set for con continuous reinvention.